your hot food is feel give rewarded for all the hard work you did at camp that it came like it, you thought it might. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels really good. Um, it's been a long time coming since we've been 1-0. I think the last time I can remember was my freshman year. So now, I, you know, we'll go 1-0 camp my senior year. It feels nice. How did it feel for you to be back in the game just after everything? Yeah, I feel real good. I think it's been a long time coming since the NIU game and then now. So if I could be out there, make some plays, be out there with my teammates, do what I got to do, and I'm just happy to have the here, Mary, the blocking and part of the offense line with tight ends, what did you see from those guys today? I played phenomenal. Uh, they worked hard all camp, so I wasn't really surprised. And uh, they did what they did. They did what they did today, what we saw all camp. So. What stood out about Dylan and just how he handled the day in the offense for his first game? Like a pro. Flawless. Uh, it's not no great thing I can say about him. He just played like a pro. He's you know, here night and day, so no surprise at all. You were on the field for the first play of the game. What was he like in that very first level? He was calm, uh, zen, you know, ready, 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 you know, go to action. Being one of the vets on this team, what was it like seeing some of the young guys get uh, some playing time later in the second half? Uh, really good, you know, Coach Rubin, you know, said, oh, we, you know, we wanted the guys to work hard, help us out, give us looks and stuff like that at the beginning of the game as well. And, you know, we wanted to work one, to just, you know, put these guys away, make sure everybody, can, you know, everybody can eat and everybody can have some touches and do what they can do. So. I was happy to see the guys out there and do you know do what they're doing. How competitive is that running back room? I mean, you guys all want to play. Mm -hmm. I'm sure when you get your opportunities, you don't know when your next one's going to come. In. How how competitive is that room right now? Not real competitive. I mean, we all. I mean, you saw today. Everybody got got you know their own game. We bring something different to the table, and um, we like to put each other. To, you know, like to put each other each week, every other week, and you know, don't be surprised when we guys like you know each other week. One person might go off. Two people might go off. You know, it's going to be you know somebody new every every week. Dante kind of came on, Coach Rule said, what did he do in camp to kind of put himself up with you guys after the spring? I know he's a real bruiser, you know, running people over, showing he's a real power back, and just, you know, be dynamic, I'll say. Anything else from there? You guys get kind of a kick out of, you know, you guys got down there, and then Gabe got the punch in the two touchdowns. Yeah, you know, I told Coach Rule, you know, give a little back some love, you know what I'm saying? Keep new punch in there a little bit too, me and Evan, but, you know, I'm happy for, I'm happy for those guys who get the touchdowns. It's a long season, so. I'm not complaining at all. Is what uh, Banks and Nair did today, I think, is that what you've seen? All oh, yeah, yeah all, all camp, all spring. Like, I knew it was going to get there, there when they had a chance, so no surprise at all, as a, as a Sarah Lee. All good. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. How did you see the play unfold that one year? Uh, you know, talking to the coach on the sideline, Coach JB, like, he tells me, uh, what to be prepared for, so I knew that play was going to go on, you know, being in a position, and I, I was able to make that play by him. How did you feel after that one? Yeah, it felt good, you know, coming back from the play earlier, you know, is uh, going on to the next play for my teammates, uh, them telling me to keep my head up, so I was happy that I got to make that play, and now I'm being on my side. That role is challenge this defense to take the ball away more this year, the winning the turnover margin, not just on the offense, you know, avoiding takeaways and fumbles, but what did that moment say about the work that you guys have put into, you know, further, you know, put an emphasis on taking the ball away? Yeah, Craig, you know, we go out there every day trying to get the ball. Uh, we want to be around the ball, make plays on the ball, punch the ball, you know, every time we see the ball, we want to get it, you know, and him making that emphasis, you know, it made us go harder, you know, uh, making us a more physical team to go out there and play. Getting that safety, how much did it rejuvenate your defense? And obviously, you guys all know the rest of the way. Yeah, in that safety, you know, I feel like that was a good fit for me, you know, uh, with this system, you know, and them being able to coach me, giving me the opportunity to go out there and play with my ability, uh, I feel like they helped me. You've got so many veterans. How did you see guys react after that one drive where they, they put their foot down on the pedal and scored? What, what do you see from, from guys on the sideline right then? Yeah, from the sideline, from the older guys, you know, they told me to keep my head up. So that's what I did. I went on to the next play, and I, I took my focus off of that play and just continued to play with the guys on the side of me. You know, from the sideline, they told me the same thing. The but they told me to just keep my head up, and that's what I did. On that, uh, what, what did you uh, see from John Butler in his first game as a, as a Husky coach? What was he like in the huddle? Man, he was energetic, you know. Uh, having him on our side, you know, as a coach, uh, he's a good coach, and I appreciate him for coming out here, you know, 
giving us the opportunity and he giving us the inside look on the NFL, how he coaches those guys and him being able to coach us like that is getting you know, us preparing for that. And yeah, we saw Dylan make a lot of throws. I mean, were you seeing those kind of throws from, as a defense for the month, most of the month of August? Yeah, you know, when he came, he's a good quarterback, man. He's been making plays. Uh, when he went out there today, you could tell like he was nervous. He's a good quarterback, making plays as a freshman, you know. He's going to have a bright future. On that uh, touchdown drive that UTEP had, I mean, they were snapping the ball almost instantly after it was set. I mean, what kind of challenge is that for a defender to get ready when they're snapping that ball right away? Uh, we knew that was going to come in like that, you know, and we just had to get adjusted to it. We got adjusted to it throughout the week. Uh, mm-hmm. Coach told us how it was going to come out here and play, and we just had to be ready for it when they did it. We knew it was going to come. They were starting to make a couple plays, so we knew the tempo was going to come. We just had to go out there and uh, execute what we've been doing in practice. I know what kind of, I know you want to enjoy this win. What what is helpful though about the things that UTEP does that prepares you for next week? Uh, I feel like the tempo they had, you know, they like to throw the ball downfield from that, like next week they're gonna do the same thing. The tempo that's gonna get us prepared, you know, the teams gonna look at that and try to take advantage of that, but we're gonna be ready for it uh, throughout the credits. Uh, the tempo we're gonna have that. All right, thank you, Malcolm. And that two more two minute drill handle that moment and then when he threw the ball to you for the touchdown. Yeah, I mean you just handle it with boys. Uh, you know, it's, it's all about repetition. If you've been repping two minutes, uh, you've been repping those situations and we just went out and executed. How much joy did you get Jamal handling business and young guys got to play? It was just one of those kind of days. A lot of joy. It's incredible. Jamal, you know, uh, that's what we live for. You know, moments like that, moments to share. It was about us, about being together. And so it's been great to experience that. That touchdown catch, is that typical of a, of a connection that the two of you guys have? I mean, did, did he seem to, did he put that ball in a place that only you were going to get it. Can you describe it? Yeah, he did. It was about trust. And, uh, you know, those conversations we've had, practices we've had, uh, it, it was, you know, it's no good. Well, on that touchdown catch, too, I mean, there's under 10 seconds left in the half there. I mean, how much pressure was there to have that timing be perfect on that pass between you and Dylan? Uh, I mean, as far as about, like, it being about us, that's just what we do, you know, like, that's what we train for. That's what we, we sacrifice. That's what we suffer for. Is moments like that, which is no execute, man. So, we did it. Those two minute situations. So, how important? You don't get a lot of opportunities to execute those in the game. How important is it to take advantage of it the way you guys did in your first yeah, time out? I mean, it's very important. Like, that's something that we can look back on. Like, this is how we get it done. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that the next time could be totally different, will be totally different. It ain't going to be the exact same thing. So, this, this can never be something you're really ready for. It's just. Something about being in the moment and just handling things. What was, uh, what was the atmosphere in the halftime locker room about maybe not taking the foot off the gas and, and keep going out there being aggressive? Yeah, exactly what you said, not taking the foot off the gas. No mercy, you know, just kill. They're back against the wall, we try to put them through it. And uh, yeah, no, no, we're not satisfied with the celebration. Just keep doing what we do, keep playing aggressive for the game. Yeah. Isaiah and they are, uh, it seems like you two have gotten really close mm-hmm. over the last few months. What was it like seeing him have that kind of day after, you know, he hadn't played in games in a long time? With this yeah. no, I mean, the, 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 the spiritual dreams that we had, the, the envisioning of success that we had before this moment, it was just, it just came in you know, physical reality. Like, it just happened in front of my eyes. And so it was exciting. We wanted the most talented players in the country. You know, he should be on that free list. You know, so, you know, what I'm going to do with us. I'm just going What did you see Jamal in the huddle from Dylan right at the beginning? First, you know, opening kickoff, you guys get the ball. What was, what was, what did you see in his eyes? <sighs> that killer mentality. You know, he's been having that in his eyes since he got on campus. Like, I'm, I'm humble, but I'm him, you know, and just, Go kill. So uh, yeah, I see the five eyes. All right. Hey, Marquise. Uh, Coach Rule mentioned um, coming out to the uh, out to the huddle after um, after the turnover after the turnover that your offense had. And you guys were getting ready to go, and he was going to try to fire you up, and you had, you had some words. What what what's uh, what's going on there with the defensive leadership? 
in, in that moment of the game at seven to seven, you guys just turn the ball over? Um, honestly, it's I told him, you know, we've been we've been preparing for this all off season. I seen him walking over like he I could see it in his face. He was getting ready to try to get us riled up, but as soon as we saw the as soon as we saw it happen, everybody popped up off the bench super fast, uh, stormed out on the field ready to go. So I just let him know like, hey, we we good. We know exactly what to do right now. Um, you know, and it just falls back on everything that we've been speaking about this this off season leading up into this game about just playing great complimentary football and always having, you know, your brothers back. You know, something bad happens to somebody on the team, it's it's next play. We gotta make them right at all times. So that's honestly what the mentality was for the whole defense. How did it feel to be back at cornerback after playing some time at safety? Um it felt it felt fine. You know, I've been playing a little bit of everything uh, this this off season, but you know I've I grew up playing corner, played corner in high school and stuff. So, you know, it felt it felt natural. It, it was really fun, you know, being back out on that island. But um, I couldn't be happy, more happy to be at a position to help the team is my biggest thing. What do you see from guys after they had that one drive, the, the three plays where they really put their foot on the pedal and scored? What was sort of the reaction on the sideline and, and how the guys handled it? Um, it was. It was nothing different than what we saw from both sides of the ball this offseason. You know, we did a lot of competing this, this offseason and all camp leading up to the season. Um, so we knew exactly what the offense was going to go out there and do and vice versa, honestly. Um, it was no surprise to anybody when they had that long drive and capitalized with his touchdown at the end of it. And, you know, on the flip side, I feel like they didn't really have any surprise in them at how we came out and we played on the defense. Over the last few years, how nice is it to have an opener like this? I mean, you played openers in Ireland and at Illinois and you know, on the road last year in Minnesota. To, to be back at home in a, in a game like this where you emptied the bench, I mean, how, how different does this day feel maybe to, compared to some of those past openers you've been a part of? Um, it's just great to start ste- the season um, one and up, honestly. You know, coming out is it's good for everybody that a lot of guys got to play. Um, that was our goal get the guys who helped us all week to prepare for the game in the game, you know, and, you know, we, we met that goal, and I couldn't be more happy seeing those guys out on the field because those are some of the hardest working men I've ever been around. You know, they come out each and every day giving us the best looks possible. Um, so just being able to have them get that experience to play in Memorial, and, you know, it's not everybody gets to play in a college football game, so it was it was very, it made me happy seeing the guys on the field having fun, especially, you know, they didn't, it was no drop off to me. Like, you know, they went out there and they played exactly to the standard that we play at. And it was special to see. Anything else for Marquise? What's it like when they switch quarterbacks mid game and then switch back? Does that sort of uh, throw you for a loop on defense at all or change anything? Um, Not really, you know, we did a lot of, we watch a lot of film. We have a lot of meetings, so. You know, we kind of knew exactly each quarterback style of play. We expected both of them to play coming into this game. So there was no really surprise or shock or anything when that um, ended up happening. You know, it was more so anything like, all right, this guy's tapping out. We got another one and they tap out. So what did, how important is it? Uh, Coach Rule talked about turnovers and winning the turnover battle, plus one, plus two, whatever, to set the tone that, hey, you guys can do this since it, mm-hmm. it didn't happen much last year. Um, you know, this this off season and this camp, take getting takeaways and taking care of the ball was something we really harped on over and over and over again every day from, you know, just making sure that we're very intentional about how we practice with holding the ball on offense and punching at the ball and ripping at the ball on defense. So um I think it was it was more so, you know, a lot of these guys are the same people. Um, from defense side at least, but you know, just intentionality makes makes a big difference on how how good stuff can be. Okay. All right. Thank you, Marquis. Thank you, guys. Thank you. How long have you waited for this moment and kind of break down your, your first game? I think I've been waiting since I could think about playing football. Probably eight years old. 
Um, I mean, I just try to take it all in, um, not be like a tough guy, football player. You know, you, you gotta be a human and enjoy the enjoy the scene. And, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And, you know, fans showed out. You know, like I knew they would. What was it like having all the fans around you there for the first play and having all of them of Memorial Stadium behind you? Yeah, it means a lot um, to have that kind of support for our team, and uh, and just to have have them behind us. You know, it's there's no place like it, and um, very grateful to be in this position um, with all my teammates. And um, yeah, I'm grateful. That first touchdown passes the expectation meet the reality of uh, when it happened. Yeah, I. Uh, when I threw the ball, um, you know, I kind of got hit, um, and I didn't really see it go, and so I just listened for the crowd, and when they, when they, you know, were cheering, and I looked, and they started stumbling, and just stay up, just stay up and score, and uh, he did, and he made a tremendous play on it. Kind of that two-minute drill, you know, what's going through your mind as you're trying to manage that moment, because it's kind of a tight clock there, and then the throw to Jamal. Um, your coach was very praiseworthy of how you handled that moment. What was going through your own mind? Yeah, I've been. Our team has been trained on the on those situations, um, and you know, obviously having that communication in the helmet um, helps. Um, but you know, we've we've seen a lot of those situations come up in practice. So when it came to the game, we just fell back to the level of our training. And um, Jamal made a fantastic catch, and um, you know, that was a big touchdown to end the half. What did you see on, on the play on Emmett's long run um, where you had to make a check, and I think there was a defensive check. Um, coach was complimentary of, of your your mind work, the way it worked on that. What what, what did you see uh, from the defense? Yeah, it was just a look we saw all week in film. Um, we weren't sure if we wanted to do um, what we were trying to check into. Um, and I think two nights ago, um, my uncle came to me and told me, like, this is what we want to do, and like, let's do it. So, we, you know, we, we got into the look, and. They adjusted and, uh, you know, we adjusted back to what we wanted. And um, Emma put his foot in the ground and made a huge run. And, and that set us up to score. How do you think you did drive. today, Dylan? How do you think you played? I think I did pretty good. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of, a lot of things that, that we want to fix and, and, and uh, clean up. But, um, you know, it's hard to get wins in college football. Um, and for, for our team to get, get the first one of the season, um, you know, it's exciting. And, uh, yeah, just look forward to getting better. On that opening drive, I mean, going down and, and leading the offense to a touchdown, I mean, how important was that to kind of set the tone for how the offense was going to operate? Yeah, uh, we, we love the challenge that we get the ball first. Um, and we just we just knew, like, we, we practiced all week. We practiced, honestly, since January on, on for that moment, um, to start the game off right. And our guys came out and um, set the tone. Uh, our line was moving people, running backs were running over people, and receivers making plays. So. Um, I was very, very pleased on, on, on how we handled that. Got in a bit of a tough situation early with the second and 30 on the first drive. Just how did the offense get out of that and you know get to the end zone after being backed up so far? Yeah, it's just a what's next mentality. Um, you know, we say it, we say it, and you know it's one thing to say it and then to believe it and act on it. Um, so I'm very, very proud on how we acted on that. Uh, coaches got us back in the groove, and um, you know we kind of started rolling and, and we didn't look back. Going back to Sam's question a couple of minutes ago on in-helmet communication, how much does it help you having a coach in your ear, not having to run over to the sideline and get some of that offensive adjustment while you're out there on the field? Uh, it's, it's nice to have that. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really just a play call. Um, it tells the play call and then, you know, we have our whatever we have in that play. Um, but it, it's very helpful uh, to have, have your offensive coordinator talking to you and um, you know, kind of, it just brings a, a calming to you um, to hear. You know, him call the play, he's very calm in the headset, and um, yeah, I, I love it, like having him. Did you think you'll uh, share a special moment with your, your dad and family down on the field? Uh, what, could, could you tell how he was processing the day? Yeah, he had glasses on, so I couldn't see if he was crying <laughs> or not. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that was, that was a special moment. Um, you know, it's always a, a ritual of ours to you know have a pregame prayer on the field, but um, to have it on you know college, first college game, all my family there, um, it, it meant a little more, especially my dad being going to this school and the marquee left with the name of the stadium. So, yeah, it was a great special moment for our family, one we won't forget. Take one more. Hey, well, seeing your, seeing the other quarterbacks get in, how, how how fun was that for you to? You remember, so you got like Jalen get in, 
join your team late and, and get that opportunity. Yeah, it's it's awesome to see those guys you know, get in. They put a lot of work in. Um, they do a lot of work for us, and and that was our goal. This game was to you know handle our business. So the guys that busted their tail for you know scout team or you know second string get get those guys in. And um, yeah, after the game, Jalen and I just shared, shared a special moment. Like uh, you know, both our dreams came true. Um, to, his dream was to play here, and, and obviously my dream was to play in Nebraska. So. Um, yeah, it was a special moment for us. Let me ask you real quick, uh, what, what are you most happy with today? Like, what are you most pleased about your game today? Uh, I think just, you know, kind of handling that low we had. Um, it, I thought we handled it very well. Uh, you know, I couldn't couldn't have done it without my team and uh, my offensive line protecting me. And um, at the end of the day, my receivers made plays. and. And their defense didn't. Um, that's what it comes down to: is just making plays. And I'm very, very happy that that we made those plays. And um, you know, excited to, to keep going. All right, thank you. Yep. Thank you.